Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, my name is Maggie. For this video, I'll be making chicken tikka masala and Indian food. A little bad history about me. I am not the best cook. Like, I'm just not the best cook at all. It's just fun to me making these videos, cooking and having my, my siblings taste it and seeing their reaction. If it's just a pleasant surprise or it's just like absolute shock of how horrible someone's cooking can go. Every time I make something, it's my first time making it, so... You know, usually I don't I don't have high hopes going into it. I'll put a link to the recipe in the description box. Let's get this video started. All right, I'm gonna put half a cup of yogurt into another container. No yogurt left behind. Half a tablespoon of garam masala. The garam masala I'll be using in this video, I mixed it when I made samosa. If you wanna watch the video, click on this link right here after watching this video. Um. So I need one teaspoon of uh, kosher, 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 kosher. Is it kosher or kosher? I don't know. Kosher salt. <laughs> kosher salt. The thing is, I didn't read before I went grocery, grocery shopping. Uh, before oh I went gosh. grocery <laughs> <laughs> Before I went grocery shopping, I thought it was just salt. I didn't know it was kosher. Long story short, I don't have kosher salt, so we're gonna be using regular old salt over here. One teaspoon of salt. I need help. So I don't have one fourth spoon over here. Half a spoon and one fourth of a spoon. Which one is more? Well, half, 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 half a spoon. Okay. <laughs> so that means so there's one third and then there's one fourth. So I just need. Good thing you're not blonde, though. <laughs> wow. I think this is one fourth of a spoon. So you mix that together. Something smells really good here. I. I think it's the gar it's the garam masala that's most good. It's a bunch of spices mixed together. We need 1.5 pounds of chicken. I already cut the chicken up. All I have to do is pour the chicken into the yogurt mix. By the way, the recipe says 1.5 pounds chicken. I think mine is like 1.17 or something like that, but it doesn't make any difference. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's, 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 Not sure, but I don't think it makes any difference. Mix the chicken into the yogurt mix. The recipe says to put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes to 24 hours. Listen, I don't have 24 hours. The max I have is 30 minutes, and that's what I'm gonna do. The longer you put it in the fridge, the better uh, the chicken is gonna marinate. Hopefully, it still tastes good. So I'm gonna use onion and ginger later in the video. So while that's marinating, I'm gonna cut up the onions. And for the ginger, this is my first time grating ginger. Also, I'm popping cherries left, right, and center in this video in the kitchen. It's been over 30 minutes. I'm gonna cut two tablespoons of butter over a high to medium heat. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter on a pan and brown the chicken on each side. You fry both sides for two to three minutes. You do not want the chicken to cook, you just want to give it some color. So this looks pretty brown to me. I'm gonna put the second tablespoon of butter in the same pan. I'm not sure if she used the same pan or she used the clean pan. I'm honestly not sure, but I'm going to use the same pan just just cuz guys 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 It smells so good in here like if you don't use butter to cook You should because it would change your kitchen's life once that's done I'm going to pour the onion in here and let it saute for about a one to five minutes or, or just until it's very soft I'm gonna pour in one tablespoon of garam masala and one fourth spoon of cayenne pepper. Saute the spices until they're toasted for about one minute. It's been over a minute. Oh my god, it's burning. Wow. I am amazed by the color. Add one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of ginger. You add it to the mix for another one minute until they're toasted. The recipe says you can use uh, puree or crushed tomato. I happen to just buy puree. I have 29 ounces and the recipe says to use 14.5 ounces. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. You find your crushed tomatoes and your brown chicken. You cook everything over 
low to medium heat for about 15 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked. After that's done, you add half a cup of heavy cream and you mix it together and you know you taste it. If it's still in some salt or some spices, you add more to it and you're done. This smells really good. Oh my gosh, ew. <laughs> Let me add more salt. So the time has come for a taste test. My brother is a vegetarian, so he would not be able to taste what I make, but my sister will be tasting today, and tomorrow I'm gonna go over to my friend's place and I'm gonna have her taste it as well. So when I went to the store, I bought naan. I was gonna make it, but then I'm gonna save that for another video. But for today, I'm gonna use store bought naan for her to taste my chicken tikka masala. All right, you ready for this? Are you gonna bake it? I'm just gonna rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm not really familiar with Indian food. I've only eaten Indian food like three, three times. Really? Mm -hmm. Not bad actually. It tastes like Indian food. It's all the seasoning, so it's okay. <laughs> it tastes good in general. <laughs> I'm so good. You did a good job. I'm so good. I like this. Because this is a meal, and actually I would finish this in... Thanks, because you're hungry. I... <laughs> <laughs> you're an ass, oh my god. But this is the taste like, on point. Yeah, something I would eat at a restaurant. Wait, what? You would eat at a restaurant? Mm -hmm. ha! Eight. Eight over ten? Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and taste my chicken tikka masala. This makes me so happy. I thought I made it salty. It's actually not salty at all. I cannot believe that I made this. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I am impressed with myself. If I were to rate myself, I will give myself a 9 out of 10. I am so impressed with this recipe, guys. Like, if you are trying to impress anyone with your cooking, just just do this Indian recipe and I promise you, they'll be very happy with you. Anyway, we're gonna try this. The Indian say tikka masala is your favorite, right? It's my favorite Indian dish, yes. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> if you don't see me tomorrow, you know what happened. <laughs> Masala is usually a little bit more buttery. The rest of it is they put a lot of butter, so I didn't put See? a lot of butter. <laughs> the, there you go. But I feel like when it has a lot of butter, then you know, after a while, you, you get nauseous and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to try it again. I, let me make sure of my feelings. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, I swear it, it tastes really good. <laughs> And my Indian roots, <laughs> the masala is missing. But you also have to understand that they smoke their chicken and the, the butter, it's a whole thing. Okay, yeah. so if you were to rate this, I would okay. rate this. As a dish, it'd be a solid eight. As a chicken tikka masala, I'd have to give it like a five. <laughs> That doesn't care for right. a lot of butter. Right. It should be a solid eight. Eight. Yes. So I guess for you, I guess it's preference. You like a lot of butter in your chicken it's, and masala. It's that I am too experienced <laughs> in Indian food. <laughs> but the average person, I promise you're gonna love this. But if like you're used to eating Indian food like every week, like you know the <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not used to eating Indian food every week, so this to me, I was like, this oh, is really nice. good. So it's supposed to be a little thinner than that. Okay. Yeah. I'll still give this a nine. Yeah. <laughs>
that is it for this video thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed the video do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I changed my upload schedule from Sunday to Friday so I'm gonna be uploading every Friday so watch out for that again thank you guys for watching uh, I really appreciate it I'll see you guys next week bye guys